Hey guys, it's Joe. And today I am doing a 12 days of Christmas tag. I got the idea from my girl Candy Cos. If you don't know who she is, I will link her description down below so you guys can go check out her channel. I freaking love her. She is so creative with her makeup and her ideas. I saw that she did this tag and she left the invitation open to whoever wanted to do it. So I decided, why not? Let's do it. I freaking love it. Christmas. Thanks for the idea, girl. I have the questions on my phone here, so let's just jump right into it, guys. All right, the first question is, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? Listening to the music, baking cookies, just just the feeling you get, everything. The Christmas movies, the Christmas traditional movies. I love that. I love everything about Christmas. But my favorite thing will have to be just shopping for people and picking out what I feel is the perfect gift for that person and watching them opening it. It just, it just gets me happy and excited. What is your pet pee about Christmas? Okay, my pet pee around the holidays is like when you go to the store and there's not enough registers open quick story real quick I went to Walmart and I'm waiting to exchange something that I bought for my daughter it wasn't a Christmas thing but I was gonna do some Christmas shopping so I thought I would take this thing back and exchange it for her so I'm standing in the customer service line there's three registers open all three ladies behind the register with a huge line okay we're all waiting to be served on they're talking amongst each other and it wasn't even work related it was personal stuff and I'm there standing there just telling myself girl chill relax be patient <sighs> But my patient lately has been running short, especially with this anxiety thing. I just want to be like, freaking do your job and stop talking about who so-and-so did so-and-so wrong. I don't need to know that. But anyway, that's a pet peeve of mine. The not being enough registers or when people that are behind the register, instead of doing their job, they're like talking amongst the other co-workers while you're standing there waiting to be served. But as far as going to the store and shopping, freaking love it. All right, most memorable Christmas. Thing that I do always think about when I think about Christmas is this one memory. <laughs> It's funny now, okay? It wasn't funny, I'm sure, to my mother then. But to me, it's funny now. And she laughs about it when we talk about it. It was back in the 80s when I was a little kid and the toy of the year was the Cabbage Pack Kid Dolls. And I really wanted one. They used to show the commercials and it would come with a birth certificate and everybody in school had one. So I really wanted one for Christmas. I didn't grow up with the whole Chris Santa Claus coming down. My mom always put the Christmas presents under the tree. As Hispanics, we celebrated on Christmas Eve. For like 12 days, there was a, a present that looked like it was the shape of a cabbage patch kid doll. So there was one for me and one for my sister. For 12 days, I'm like, I can't wait to open that. I can't wait to open it. Oh my God, I can't wait to open it. When it was Christmas Eve and it was my turn to open the present, I right away went to that box and I opened it. When I opened it, guys, and I feel bad because my mom was a single parent and she worked really hard to provide for us, okay? So I'm sure she did the best that she could. Or maybe she just didn't know because she didn't really speak English. But it wasn't a cabbage patch kid though. It was a flower patch kid, guys. It was like the imitation bread, all right? So me as an ignorant child, because I was little back in, back in the day, in the 80s, all right? I looked at it, stared at it for what felt like eternity for me. And as I'm staring at it, I could feel anger building up because I'm like thinking in my head, what the heck is this? Okay, so I'm looking at it because it looked like a cabbage patch kid though. And I said in Spanish, I'll put the thing, you know, translation. I said, esto, yo no quiero esta porquería. Esto no un cabbage pack kid dao. And I threw it across the room. <laughs> Cause I was mad, all right? I wanted a, a cabbage pack kid dao. I didn't want no freaking flower patch kid dao. Threw it across the room. I can't take that to school. They'll make fun of me. And so my mom, I feel bad because I'm a mom now and I know it would hurt me so bad because all you want to do is make your kids happy. She stared at me, got up, she didn't say nothing, right? She got up, walked to the doll, picked it up, walked to her room, and I got up and followed her because I think I'm gonna get the belt. She used to hit us with the belt back then. So, you know, I followed her and she went to her closet and she put it up in the top shelf, came back, didn't say a word to me the whole time. And I'm like, mommy, and nothing, nothing. We just kept opening presents. And you know, after we were done, I asked her if I could have the doll. She told me no. She told me no, I couldn't have the doll. 
I had to wait for like two weeks to get the freaking thing. Then I really wanted it, because now I was like, okay, I want it, you know, I'm sorry, you know, but she wouldn't give it to me. But two weeks after, she let me have the doll, and it became my favorite toy, blah, 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 blah. So that's one of my most memorable, I guess, memorable Christmas, because I always remember that. It, it makes me sad now to think I did that to my mom, but that every time I think about like memorable Christmas or like memories that's one that always pops into my head favorite Christmas scent my favorite Christmas scent is pine I love pine I burn pine as soon as Thanksgiving is over pine candles all over the house it smells like Christmas it just Christmas tree I don't get a real Christmas tree because it's too much work but the house smells like a Christmas tree what does Christmas morning feel like I don't know. I don't know what Christmas morning feels like, guys. I, I really don't. Like for Thanksgiving, I wake up and you know, I hear football in the background because my husband's a big football fan and then watch the Thanksgiving parade. So that I always that's what Thanksgiving rhymes. But Christmas, I don't really have I don't know what Christmas morning feels like. Even though it's my favorite holiday, I I don't know. So I'm gonna say I don't know. I don't know if that's cheating, but honestly I can't think of anything right now. Do you think people begin to prepare for Christmas too early? yes yes i do every year is earlier and earlier this year halloween didn't even start and already they had christmas stuff at the stores and i'm thinking what the heck the holidays just started let's get through halloween first at least halloween okay because it's like right after halloween it's like they forget about thanksgiving they jump right into christmas and like i said i love christmas but i also love you know halloween and thanksgiving i want to celebrate that i don't want to feel rushed because it's like it goes so freaking fast that it's like take your time slow down relax so yes i do think they start preparing way too early ever done secret santa yes heck yeah who has it uh, right now I'm doing one I'm doing one on my Instagram account bunch of us girls that are on Instagram that met through Instagram and YouTube we're doing a secret Santa right now and I'm not telling who I got but just know that your gift is in the mail girl and I hope you like ever gone caroling as a young teenager yes and we called it in Spanish parandeando parandeando I think it is parandeando sounds weird but yeah in Spanish is uh, caroling, you know, and we do it in Spanish. We go with our instruments and we go house to house. And I used to love it. As a kid, I used to love it because we used to get together, get a group. You know, it's cold, so you put your coats and your gloves. And we jump in the car and we wouldn't go door to door. We just knew which houses hit. So go jump in the car, drive to that person's house. As soon as they open the door, we're like, el guido. Okay, we do like an instrument, Puerto Rican instrument, you know, the bongos and everything. We're like, ese provelechon que murió de repente con un tajo la frente. Uh, Christmas Puerto Rican song. We'd do that and then they would have like cookies and hot chocolate and food and we would eat and then jump back in the car and that person or that family would come with us to jump in their car and follow us and we'll go to the next house and next house and so forth, so forth. By the end of the night, you're so freaking full, you can't even sing. And then you're the freaking lechon. <laughs> all stuffed up but yeah i've gone caroling as a, as a teenager ever looked for hidden presents did your fair parents find out i always look for hidden presents even as an adult i look for hidden presents and uh, now i do it as a joke to my kids because they're always like mom and i'll go under the tree and start trying to see let's see what's my present under here you know and i do it playing around i ain't really gonna like open it or anything like that but just you know as when I was younger, I would do it to count to make sure I was getting a fair amount of presents. And that's why I'm like, I like that now with my kids. If I buy four for the kids, everybody's getting four. I don't like to get one more than the other. That's just me. You know, I just like to be even. But yeah, I looked for hidden presents before under the tree just, just to see how many I was getting. <laughs> Least favorite thing about Christmas. My least favorite thing about Christmas is like my pet pee is uh, the waiting in the line. Crazy long lines. That's it. Just waiting in the lines. I, I, I start getting impatient. The lines are too long. Not enough registers open. The commercials be lying, especially Walmart commercial. I'm sorry. Y'all be showing those commercials that every single register is going to be open and you look all happy. Opening more lanes than ever to make Christmas shopping easier. And then you go to Walmart and there's one register open, and all the register for the self checkout is open, but the registers are not open, just like one or two. And I know this because I was there yesterday and it was like that. And it's 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 annoying. It's annoying. I don't like that. 
favorite Christmas tradition. Favorite Christmas tradition is just watching the Christmas, my favorite Christmas movies. Like my favorite Christmas movie is A Christmas Story and I'm wearing the shirt right now. Ralphie. <laughs> I love that movie. I just watched it the other day. Um, you know, it's a wonderful life. Home Alone, one and two, the third one, but one and two, amazing. I love. I just love Christmas movies. So that's that's one of my Christmas traditions. I always every year watch at least the Christmas story and it's a wonderful life. You have to watch that and home alone. And growing up, we used to watch the Gremlins. But um, yeah, those two. That's my Christmas tradition, I would say. Favorite Christmas song. Hmm. What is my favorite Christmas song? I love them all. I would say the Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas. All I want for Christmas is you. I love Mariah Carey's Christmas album. That's like my favorite Christmas album, guys. That's not a question. My favorite Christmas album, Mariah Carey's. And Destiny's Child Christmas album that they came out with years ago. So anyway, guys, that is all of the questions on here. 12 questions of Christmas guys if you want to do the tag go ahead and do it I hope you enjoyed that tag guys that is it I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday so far with your family with your friends with your co-workers don't eat too much cookies if you're not subscribed to my channel yet make sure to click on that subscription button and while you're at it make sure to head over to that notification bell and click on that as well so you know when my videos are popping and don't forget to drop a like guys in the meanwhile as always Feliz Navidad no, I'm just kidding. Feliz Navidad too. Merry Christmas. But as always, remember to be blessed. Mwah!